It has been a very busy day here in Central Florida. Vice President Mike Pence is also visiting the area. Yeah, he helped deliver personal protective equipment to a local nursing home and met with the governor to discuss Florida's phased reopening. News 6's Lauren Cervantes joins us now live. So, Lauren, we learned more about how some of our theme parks plan to reopen. We did. There was a lot of conversation about theme parks. Vice President Mike Pence was a part of a roundtable discussion with Governor DeSantis and other tourism and hospitality industry leaders. The topic reopening Florida. Now, also part of the discussion were leaders from Disney, Universal and SeaWorld. SeaWorld saying they will be ready to open in June if their plan to reopen is approved. Now, Mark Swanson with SeaWorld says they feel confident, especially given that much of their park is outdoors. Governor DeSantis. As we said today, Governor, visiting one of uh, your wonderful nursing home facilities uh, here in Florida, um, I want to especially say thank you um, uh, for caring so much for the most vulnerable among us. I mean, to think uh, you said there's 4,000 nursing homes roughly here long -term care. And, and long term care facilities here in the state of Florida, and fully 3,500 had no coronavirus cases at all. That is a tribute to an extraordinary group of caregivers, health care workers that I think deserve a big round of applause for caring for them. But it's also a tribute to, to folks that have been willing to not go see mom and dad, not go see grandma and grandpa. What you just heard was Vice President Pence commending uh, our state for how the state has taken care of the most vulnerable of our population. Uh, the other thing I have to mention, because we are nearing an historic moment here uh, in Central Florida, Vice President Pence says he will be back here next week for the launch. And Governor DeSantis hinting that the big guy, President Trump, could also be here for that event. For now, in Orlando, I'm Lauren Cervantes getting results, News 6.